morning, my dear students. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing today? Are you feeling good? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma All right, that's so nice to be here. So, before we begin our class, um, may I ask our classroom secretary to check the attendance for today? Noted, ma'am. All right, thank you so much for that. So, may I ask them if you are all now prepared for our class? Yes, yes ma'am. All right, great. The energy for the whole duration of the class. Let us start today's session with a game. Yay! All right. So how would you like that one? We are very so much excited, excited now. Now. Okay. Seems like you all you are all excited. So yeah. Um, I have here a box of luck, and what I will divide the class into two groups. I have pre pre prepared a set of pictures inside the box, and you are going to determine what. Word does each um, picture tell? Okay, so each member of the group needs to pick one picture from the box of luck and paste it beside the word that I have written in front, which is related to it. Okay, so the first group to finish the game with the greatest number of number or correct answer, of course, uh, will be the winner. Okay, yes, yes. Uh -huh. all right. So I will only be giving you five minutes to. Um, accomplish this game. Okay? Let us now um, count one and two for your groupings. Uh, let's begin with Mahali. One. Two. One. Two. Alright. So, the uh, first group, please stay here. And the second group, please stay at the right side.
Yes, uh, Fern, you want to say something? Yes, ma'am. Maybe it is a form of speech, ma'am, because of the, the presented objects or people in the board who are speaking, ma'am. Alright, that is a brilliant observation, Pearl. Um, I am going to be showing you an object. Alright, so class, do you know what this is? Yes, ma'am, yes, that was a magnet. Alright, yes, you are correct that this object is a magnet. So since you are familiar with this object, may I know if you know the purpose or main purpose of this object or of this magnet? Huh? Mom. Yes. Uh, may I may we have uh, Miss Yulimar design? Mom, I think that is used to attract uh, objects, mom, especially like metals. Very good. So in other words, this magnet or this words in front or that are written in front can be used to attract people with when you speak. Okay? Yes. yes Alright. So, I have another question. Have you heard of an election speech already? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. So, what are the candidates goal when they are delivering their speech? They are convincing people to vote for them. Alright. You are good with that one. Um, Mahali. So today we are going to discuss a type of the speech which the main goal is to convince. So may I ask the class again? What do you think or what is another word to convince? Mom? Yes. I think it's persuasive, mom. It's persuasive. Very good. But um to convince or convince is a verb, right? Yes. yes okay, okay, may I ask another our representative to give me the answer? Yes, Mahal. Well, I think the right word for that is persuade. Very good. So the word is persuade. So today we are going to be discussing persuasive speech. Okay? Yes, ma'am. All right.
arguments, research, and ideas. And these are not only called words, okay, or um, concepts. This has um, a particular name, and these are called persuasive devices. What are these called again? Persuasive devices. Alright, thank you so much for that. Personal pronouns like 
Okay, ma'am. So, I have been the SSG president for two consecutive years already, and I am proud to share with you our major accomplishments, and this include one beneficiaries of the one student body program, wherein we are providing payloads, allowance, and school supplies to them. We have also purchased one printer from SSG's fundraising activities and this is being utilized by all of the students in the school. Okay, thank you so much for that one, Pearl. So, uh, by looking at the highlighted words, may I know what is the um, persuasive device being used? I think it's statistics, ma'am. Very good. So, the correct answer is statistics and may I know what is it important for us to um, include statistics in our own uh, persuasive speech? Uh, I believe that the persuasive device is statistics because the speaker provided numbers that will serve as proof of the accomplishments of the administration for the past two years now. Alright, and why is it important? I believe that it is very important to include statistics on persuasive writing as it adds up a flavor of reliability to the speech because numbers never lie. Okay, very good for that one. Well, you may not take your seat. Um, if you are going to incorporate statistics in our persuasive speech, we are showing that our speech is a research based and with evident data through numbers. So let us now proceed to the next one. Yes, Ms. Julie Moore. Come in front and roll the dice. Okay. Alright, what's the number? Okay, it's number two. And uh, you may now come here to um, pick the excerpt uh, number two. Um, type of question doesn't necessarily um, need 
that the speaker is very motivated to do um, his duty. Alvi, uh, thank you so much for that. Mahali, you may help me to sit. Yes, um, it's correct that if we are going to use modalities such as can, could, what, uh, will, would, that shows certainty of the idea that we are presenting to our audience. Okay? Yes. Alright. So, can I ask another volunteer? Yes, sir.
Just the candidates who have already proved their capability to lead the entire student body. Alright, by looking at mm -hmm. the um, highlighted words, Jean Paul, what do you think is the um, persuasive device being used? I believe the answer is exaggeration. Because sweet promises cannot literally, cannot literally, cannot literally cause blindness. Alright, thank you so much for that, um, Jean Paul. That is correct. That the answer is exaggeration. So, why do you think is it important to include exaggeration in our persuasive speech? It is to strongly emphasize the point. Okay, thank you. Uh, you are correct with that one. You may have put the answer on the word related to it or the um, word it describes. Okay, you now take, take a seat, Jean Paul. So we use exaggeration for us to capture the attention of our audience as their mind will be triggered with the statement that we are conveying. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's now proceed to the next one. Anyone? No. Yes, Mahali? You may now roll the dice here.
cardiovascular system suffers as well. This should serve as a sign for, for us to stop eating fast food. Alright, thank you so much for that, Jean Paul. We will surely try to stop eating fast food even though it is oil. Okay! Alright, thank you so much, class, for the excellent participation. So, your performance earlier uh, just shows that you have really understood the different persuasive devices. And um, thank you so much for actively listening to our discussion. So, before we end the class today, may I ask if you have learned something? Yes, yes ma'am. Alright, so what do you think is the importance of using persuasive devices in our persuasive speech? Yes, Mahali. Mom, we need to add persuasive devices in our persuasive speech so that it will be easier for us to convince our audience of the idea or concept that we believe because we make ourselves as the speakers seem knowledgeable, reliable, and correct. Alright, thank you so much for that one, Mahali. Um, may I ask another volunteer? Yes, sir. This helps us create bond between the speaker and the listener. Okay, thank you. Um, how about uh, other representative? Yes, Mom. Um, in addition, this also reinforces and emphasizes the speaker's viewpoint. Now. Okay, excellent. How about Jim Paul? Do you have uh, something to add? We would also appeal to the emotions of our listeners. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Jim Paul, and thank you so much, class, for that participation. And all your reflections are also impressive. So, for you to be able to have a more comprehensive understanding on the persuasive devices, kindly access the link that I'm going to be sending you um, through our group chat and that will serve as your guide as well or an additional help for you to be um, able to understand persuasive devices more. Okay? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, thank you so much for that. So, I will take a note of this class, okay? Um, please record yourself um, a three-minute video or record a three-minute video of yourself delivering yourself composed persuasive speech, integrating at least five persuasive devices. You may choose um, any topic that you want um, and pass it through a Google link. Also, I will be sending you a rubric after an hour class which will serve as your guide. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Alright, and for your assignment, kindly um, list down the persuasive devices that you have integrated on your um, composed persuasive speech. Okay? And please be able to classify this and write them down on a full sheet of paper. Okay? So your assignment will look like this. Yes, yes, ma'am. Alright. So do you have any question, class? Nine no, so far. Okay. So may I just ask if you have learned anything or something today? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, excellent. So that ends our class today. Uh, thank you so much for your participation.